Hot. Good morning everybody, Gory here. I want to start off by apologizing for the quality of last week's cup of Gory, specifically the lighting. It made the overall quality of the video look really shit, um, which is annoying. It was a really overcasty day and it's not like I have any kind of external lighting set up. So most of the time, as I've mentioned before, I'm mainly relying on the sun and because of the cold weather recently and it being like really kind of frosty, um, the sun's just buggered off behind clouds. So... I'm going to fix that today, hopefully, maybe, possibly, I have nicked a light from downstairs, just a, just a lamp that was sat on the side, just like, I'll borrow that, see if it works, it's probably a bit yellow to be fair, doesn't look too bad on kind of like the preview screen, but I don't really know until I go in post and, um, you know, kind of see what it looks like in full screen and full resolution and try and color grade it and stuff like that. Speaking of color grading, I'm now also shooting in the flat mode on the GoPro. There's two kind of color modes, if you like. There's the GoPro standard mode, which is what I was shooting in before. And then there's the flat mode, which basically desaturates the image a bit, you know, wax the contrast down, wax the brightness down, um, which gives you more options to play about with when color grading in post. So combining this, this is just temporary, by the way. So if it looks shit, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm still kind of waiting to get those softbox lamps. I will get a proper setup at some point for these face cam videos. Um, but hopefully just nicking this lamp from downstairs should do the trick um, of making these videos look a little bit better until I do get the soft boxes. Um, and yeah, and then I'll play about the color grading in DaVinci Resolve, I believe it's called. DaVinci, da, da, da Vinci, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced. By Blackmagic, it's a free piece of software, um, which you can use for editing, actually, which is kind of cool. Um, but, but I don't need it for that, though, because obviously I've got like Premiere and Vegas. But my friends recently with kind of college stuff have been playing about with that piece of software for color grading. And some of the stuff you can do on that, like, it just... Adding color grading, like getting the color grading right just adds that kind of film look. Not necessarily what I'm trying to go for with this, but with college projects and stuff like that. We're making kind of short films as students. They, they always don't look quite good. And my friends have kind of started playing about with color grading. And they look, the stuff we're shooting looks a whole lot better now. So I'm going to try implement some of that with this. I'm going to play about the footage in DaVinci Resolve and see if I can make it look a bit better. So as mentioned last cup of gory, last Monday I had a gathering around Josh's. It was just going to be on the Monday um, and then was going to film on the Tuesday, then go into college. That was the original plan. We kind of didn't go into college on Tuesday and then had a second gathering Tuesday night. So we had a two day gathering which was pretty cool not gonna lie a lot of fun um now we didn't just skive off college we're, we're not that bad all right calm down so basically because we're filming on tuesday kind of morning before we had to go to college in the evening um was getting a project done where we had to film like a news report type of thing so we just filmed it in josh's garage we kind of built like a little setup with uh, lighting and stuff like that and um, I sent a message to my lecturer basically just saying we may be slightly late because obviously we're filming this and then we got to pack it all away and stuff like that he just replied saying don't worry guys you're doing my work you don't have to come in which was brilliant so we filmed the vast majority of that project and then what we did is we just went out filming because the Joshes had bought a whole bunch of new gear like grips and stabilizers um, and stuff like that for their cameras so we went out driving about, testing out um, kind of like tracking shots. Josh was on a longboard, following behind the other Josh's car and getting some tracking shots of the wheels and stuff like that. It, it was really cool. And then as the sun was setting, we went up to just like some kind of hilly area where the Josh's live. And we basically just filmed a bunch of stuff in the golden hour where, you know, the lighting's really nice. It's really soft shadows and stuff like that. It was awesome. Like the, the footage that came out was great. You would have saw if you follow me on Instagram, that picture that I took, that was at the place that was during uh, sunset. And I'm really happy with that picture. I think it looks really cool. And I got a bunch of other footage as well. I may fit some into this video if I can get my hands on it and, um, you know, just kind of slot it in so you guys can kind of see. It was some really cool views and stuff like that. And of course, sunset usually looks goddamn pretty. It's like my favorite time of day, uh, especially for filming at. So that was a hell of a lot of fun. And just, it is very sp spontaneous. But as uh, me and the Joshes were all agreeing on, we actually learned a lot more just going out and filming and basically just being practical as opposed to being sat in a classroom writing assignments or being taught stuff, um, which was interesting as well. So we'll definitely have to do that again at some point. I think that's what we all 
plan to meet up and do because, yeah, we, we all enjoyed it. It was a hell of a lot of fun. And I have just realized the lamp that I'm using has slowly <laughs> tilted downward. So if the lighting in this video, that like the sun was setting and just slowly moved down my face, I do apologize. That's why it's kind of stable now, though. I'm not going to touch it. It should be all right, maybe. Speaking of the gatherings, you may be able to notice the little... Where is it? There it is. There. Uh, just above my microphone. There. See the five little Jaeger bottles there? So basically, every gathering, we start it off by downing one of them, or most gatherings we do now. So I started collecting them all. So basically, you can see all the gatherings I've survived. And that will slowly grow and grow and grow until I have hundreds of mini little Jaeger bottles <laughs> sat on my shelf. But yeah, that, that, that was good. Drunk lots, had lots of fun, and of course got lots of filming done as well. So it was both a lot of fun to mess about with and also got, you know, we we're, were quite practical, quite productive with our time. Oh yeah, I got my car back as well uh, from the mechanic. I believe I said something about that. I, I, I know I definitely mentioned I obviously bought my self a car um, and then had to get it fixed. I think I said about that. It's basically where the car hadn't been used very much like at all. It only has like 13,000 miles on the clock. Um, so it's like pretty much brand new at this point, right? It's barely been used. Um, the mechanic thinks that the clutch is really stiff due to it just not being used, which is, of course, slightly annoying for having to pay all that money just to fix it since it hadn't been used as opposed to it being well-worn or something like that. But hey, um, yeah, got that back, tested it out. Clutch is a lot better now. Drove to work the other day and also yesterday on Sunday, just kind of drove about with my dad. Um, he just kind of created a little route around the, the local area, drove around for about an hour or so. And yeah, getting some good practice in that thing now, uh, which is good. I'm pretty much fully confident driving that now, which is good as well. Good bit of experience. Speaking of driving, got my driving theory test on Saturday coming up. Don't have work because um, it's like a, a, a holiday thing because I work at a private school. They Every three to four weeks, they have the, the, the Saturday off, which is good for me because I don't have to go in and I still get paid for it. Um, but yeah, this Saturday, got my driving theory test. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, exams. I thought I was done with exams in year 11 doing my GCSEs but no got a, another exam yay uh but yeah I should be fine doing that I've been practicing you know doing mock tests and stuff like that online so hopefully fingers crossed I should pass it first time please wish me luck down in the comments below that would be greatly appreciated right let's talk about some YouTube -y, content -y type of stuff um as i'm meant to with these videos with these like kind of channel updates so on wednesday i'm going to get a youtube advice video out hopefully it well i say hopefully no it will be done for wednesday so um look forward to that it's the advice video for people wanting to start a gaming channel which was asked for um quite some time ago now so i'm finally going to get that done already recorded the commentary for it just need to record like the kind of gameplay and all the other kind of bits of footage and images i want to edit it together with if that makes sense i've been planning a podcast actually i know i've already mentioned this i wanted to get back into doing podcasts um with the two joshes and i've actually i think i fully kind of finalized my idea for it now i still need to pitch it to them and see what those guys think and if they're up for it but before i th i was thinking of just doing it you know just like over skype or over some other you know voice over ip service um because that would have been easy obviously but i kind of want to do it like in real life, like us three sat around a table with some proper, you know, with multiple cameras, you know, have like one main camera and then one camera per person for like a close up um, and then maybe some other angles as well and have like a bit of a backdrop. Like I think that'd be a really cool idea, um, which why the other day I just went ham writing all these notes on how I want it to be like because I got really excited and worked up about it. So I'm going to pitch that to them, see what they think about the kind of idea. It obviously won't be if it does go through it won't be coming out on that much of a regular basis because obviously if we're filming in real life it's gonna be a pain in the ass to find the time to for us to all get it set up and then record it and you know to kind of do that weekly will it just probably won't work that often so um it'll probably be more like a fortnightly thing or maybe even like a monthly thing depending on you know what our schedules are like but yeah that's something else i've got in the works that skit i'm working on 
oh, damn, I need to get that done. Like, I really want to get that done. It's just finding the time to film it. But that's in the works as well. Like, I know content has been very lackluster recently. I've said this the last few categories. It's been a lot of just kind of funny moments. And then I've also just missed a lot of days of content. Um, I'm sorry for that. I'm just kind of busy at the moment with college stuff and you know having gone back to work and stuff like that i need to get back into the schedule into the rhythm of doing youtube stuff plus with the new revamp i don't really know like i thought i had a plan for the content i want to make but that's just kind of gone to shit um and i'm not i'm kind of like still deciding what bits of content i want to make and what bits i don't want to make and want to get rid of um so i'm still trying to figure things out thank you guys for sticking with me whilst i do do that i, I should hopefully get back on track with the whole youtube thing soon um i think that's it for this week's cup of gory guys thank you so much for watching as always if you have enjoyed this video press the like button and subscribe for more content from myself guys please have a great rest of your week i will see you guys in the next video